We're here at Heinz Field, ready for some football in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. It's still early in the season, but the contenders are attempting to emerge from the pack. And today's game features two teams very much in the early hunt as the Cleveland Browns get set to take on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Welcome to another presentation of NFL football. Hi, everyone. I'm Al Michaels. And with me, as always, John Madden. You know, safeties are usually the last line of defense on the field. So when you have a guy like this back there as a coach, you feel pretty good knowing your defense won't give up many big plays. You also like knowing that he can line up in the box and act as another linebacker to stop the run. William Green should see a lot of action to help give his offense a more balanced attack. The only way they're going to be successful against that defense is to keep them honest with a running game. It's definitely going to be a game of X's and O's and who has the better game plan. Look at them down there. Offense, defense, it doesn't matter. They just want to start hitting somebody. <laughs> They're already hitting each other. And the captains are out there ready for the coin toss. You have ball tail. <coughs> the Browns ball tail and have won the toss. They choose to kick. The teams have taken the field and lined up for the kickoff, and they're ready to get this one started. Dawson is just about ready to kick this one away. He sends it off. Edwards will try to bring this one back. The Steelers take over on offense at the 21. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 21. Burris in motion. He's looking to pass. Stewart throwing it to the left. Game of six on the play. Four to go. Bettis gets the toss. Looking for room. Henry breaks the play up in the backfield. He was cut down quickly. He was waiting for something to develop, and whap, he got developed. It's third down and four to go. It's the pass off. Nice completion. And he stopped at the 49. First and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. Stewart hands it off. He shakes the defender. And he's tackled at the 43-yard line. Game of six on the play. Four to go. The Steelers using motion. Roger, Roger. Watch your man. At the 30. And he stopped at the 26 yard line. Bettis kept his legs moving on that one. This guy stays so low to the ground that the defenders have nothing to tackle. They try to grab something as he runs by, but a lot of time all they end up with is air. It's first and ten. Ball on the 26-yard line. Watch the run, watch the run. Bruner in motion. Stewart sends the pass away. And he finds the open man. And it looks like they'll mark it at the one. <laughs> 
first down and goal to go. Bettis looking for room. Dives in. That was an almost perfect run in this type of situation. Yeah. coach in this league you're always making adjustment and hopefully you can get the defense on its heels and get it in there for a touchdown good job by these guys he sends this one toward the end zone north is on his way upfield he can't wrap him up this is where you want to be able to respond you also don't want to panic because it's only the first quarter First and ten. Ball on their own 22. Set. Using motion. Watch, watch. Searching for a scene. He can't wrap him up. And he's brought down at the 27-yard line. Gain of a handful. Right. Second and five coming up here. Using motion. Looking for an opening. Stiff arm. He's to the 40. Washington makes the tackle at the 47-yard line. Good game there and a first down. If the defense keeps giving up runs like that for first downs, they'll have to make some adjustments to slow this guy down. So they have first and ten here. And it looks like an offset on. Quick drop. Steps up. He goes to the left side. Knocked down. Good play by the defender to get in there and disrupt the pass. Getting pressure on the quarterback is the easiest way to disrupt a pass play. The defensive line should take full credit for that play. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 47. Set. He's looking to pass. Throwing. And he makes the grab. Game of three. To the right side and the defender brings him down at the 45 yard lines Gradaki will come into this game to punt they run a fake Scott makes the tackle at the 45. He made the stop to record his first tackle of the game. At the end of the first quarter, the score is Cleveland 0, Pittsburgh 7. The teams have switched sides and will start the second quarter. So they have first and 10 here. Ball on their own 45. Throws over to his right. Right to the defender.
So they have first and ten here. Flowers makes the stop at the 32 yard line. Pickup of about five. Inside enemy territory. Man in motion. Green gets the toss. On the run. Flowers pulls him down at the 31. So that tackle was his third. They need about three. Ball on the 31 yard line. And it looks like an offset on. Dropping back. He's looking. Rolls right. Campbell was the intended receiver. He was able to avoid the sack, but couldn't find a way to get that pass to his receiver. He really had to rush that throw. That was a situation where the defensive line made the job easy for the defensive backs. Dawson heads out onto the field for the field goal attack. He gets off the long field goal try, and it's good. The kick is good. He kicks it off. The returner feels it cleanly and is looking to give them good field position. He wasn't able to make anything happen on that return. This special team's coverage came swarming down on him, and he had nowhere to hide. Right. It's first and ten. Stewart gets set. The Steelers using motion with the pass. Right. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 18. The Steelers line up with two tight ends. It's the toss. Miller created problems in the backfield on that play. Bettis was dropped before he could get back to the line. Yeah, you can't run without good blocking. They'll be faced with a long third down play here. Only one man in the backfield. Looking downfield. Passing to his right, he finds his man. And so he was able to fire that one to his receiver, converting for a first down. Passes like that have been known to dislocate receiver's fingers. You might want to double check and make sure he can move him on. So they have first and ten here. Ball on their own 35. Stewart with the pass, and they're able to connect on that one. The quarterback did a real good job finding his target with that pass. That was quite a throw. This guy's been blessed with a golden arm. It's first and ten. Four-man front this time. For room. He was in on the play again for another tick on the stat sheet. They're working on the ground. Running the ball consistently is a first step in creating a balanced attack. Right. Eight second down and eight to go. Two minutes left in the quarter. Right. Eight to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. Tango, tango, and 
this is the fifth play of this drive. Bennett gets the toss. Sure, good move. Miller brings him down at the 26. He was able to pick up good yardage on that play. When you have a back who can pick up big chunks of yardage on his carries, it forces the defense to bring another man up to the line of scrimmage to try and control him. First and ten. Ball on the 26-yard line. Stewart gets set. Rolls right. Passes left. This is deflected by number 33. This defense has to be ready for run. Is there in a spot where the offense can call just about anything with this much time left? Second and ten. Seventh play of this drive. Looking to pass. With the pass. And it's complete. Run. He's starting to make his presence felt out there. Here's where it pays off to have a receiver that can get open quickly. You try and match him up one-on-one -on -one and let him do his thing to get your first down. A little over a minute left. Looking downfield. Throws it. Hits the target with the pass. Henry records the tackle at the six-yard line. Pittsburgh takes a timeout. Two timeouts remain. They'll come out on first down, and we'll try to make this red zone visit a successful one. They need to get the playoff quickly. So it's first and goal. Ball on the six-yard line. There's a flag on the play. Delay of the game on the offense. Loss of five yards. Red zone opportunities are always a big factor, and they should get at least a field goal out of this drive, as long as they're careful with the football. Great. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Looking downfield. Gets the pass off. Nice connection. He really lets it flow. When you have a guy with a quick release like this, it can really frustrate the pass rush. Seems like he always gets rid of it just before they can get to him. I think this is where you bring in one of the two tight ends, like maybe even three, and you try and find one of them open for the score. Second and goal. They'll go from the I formation. Stewart throws to the middle of the field. The defense are out there expecting something completely different on that play. The defense has to do a better job of play recognition than that. Nothing makes you look worse than being caught out of position. The other team taking advantage of going in for the score. And it's on its way, and the extra point is good. Will be kicking off. Number four to kick off. Number six. He gets the kick away. Deep to the sea. North to feels it cleanly. Cleveland needs two scores to get back into this one. We'll have to wait to see if they decide to try to extend their lead before halftime. If they're content with the score the way it is, they'll just try to run out the clock. It's first and ten. Gonna throw. Looking downfield. Throws over to his right. And he drops the pass. And we should see something on the ground here on second down as they look to run out the clock. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 18. The Browns line up in the shotgun. 
Dropping back, looking downfield. Passing to his right. He just can't find a way to bring that one in. He got his hands on it, but the pass was incomplete. Sometimes you see the receivers drop the easiest passes. They must be thinking touchdown before making the catch. This is where you just hand it off and get ready for the second half. Third and ten, coming up. Looking to throw. Looking for an option. Passing right. Knocked down. The defender was able to get in there to disrupt the pass. I'm not surprised that that pass went incomplete. I don't think he could even see past that big old defensive lineman rushing. So the punt team gets ready as we near halftime. Kordaki will come into this game to punt. And he signals for the fair catch. They were very effective the last time they had the ball, picking up a lot of yardage through the air as they moved down the field for a touchdown. They're trying to move the ball downfield and increase their lead before halftime. Right. First and ten. Ball on their own 39. What? What? Bettis, the deep uh. man, looking to throw. Tosses it right. He finds his man. Miller stopped him for his third tackle so far. Just about in field goal range. Set. Good, good. Watch the slots. Hurt, hurt, hurt. Dropping back. Stepping up. Stewart throws. And the defender brings him down at the 33. It's first and 10. Ball on the 33 yard line. If they can get a field goal here, it will be a big boost for them when they get into the locker room at halftime. Peterson will come in looking to try the field goal. Here's the long attempt. It had the distance, but it sailed right. That's the end of the second quarter with the score. Pittsburgh, 14. Cleveland, 3. We'll go back to the play on the field. So before we start the third quarter, here's a quick look at how both teams have fared in the first half. Miller will be kicking off. He sends it off. Davis is looking to pick up some blocking. The Browns will start this drive from the 20-yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 20. Set. Cut. Run. Fiala makes the play at the 23. They're going to keep testing this rushing defense. The guy seems to get stronger every time he touches the ball. Right. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on their own 23. pass steps up into the pocket throws it nice reception a display of good concentration by the receiver if he can make catches like that regularly he can expect to see more passes thrown in his direction it's first and ten ball on their own 41 four linebackers green gets the toss Flowers found the ball carrier to make his fourth stop of the game. Second and five. Ball on their own 46. Looking downfield. Short pass. He hits his receiver. And he's brought down at the 48. Right. 
It's first and ten. Ball on the 48 yard line. The Browns line up with two tight ends. He surveys the field, throws it, and it's caught. Johnson is there for the catch, his first of the game. A gain of 32 on the play. makes the play at the 13. They kept this one on the ground. This team's always trying to get a good mix of run and pass plays. About six to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. Green, the long back. They'll go with a pass. Passes it out to the left. No completion there. Lots of pressure on the quarterback. I'm not sure how they got through, but the defense really wanted the quarterback. It's third and six coming up. Ball on the 13 yard line. Couch starts out of the shotgun. Quick drop, passing right. Johnson just couldn't find a way to come up with that. Well, the quarterback did his part. Maybe he heard footsteps. Dawson is looking to add to their total with this attempt. The kick is up. The kick sails through the uprights. And they're able to get some points out of the drive with the successful field goal attempt. And give credit to the kicker there. It's nice to have a guy that can make your drive worth three, even if you don't get it in the end zone every time. Number 81 and number 22, Tennessee. He sends this one toward the end zone. The returner will head upfield. The Steelers will start this drive from the 26. Right. So they have first and 10 here. Ball on their own 26. Consistently is a goal of every coach when the game day arrives. Right. Second down and four to go. Set. Only one man back. Puts on the juke, and it looks like they'll mark it at the 35-yard line. Not much on that play. Yeah, you talk about a defensive line winning the battle, and this is what you mean. The running back gets to the line, and there's nowhere to go after that. About a yard to go. Stewart throws, hits his man with the pass. The 50, the 40, and he's tackled at the 28 yard line. It's first and ten. Set, 
Number 21 in the backfield. They'll go with a pass. Looking downfield. Stewart throws left. And the defender brings him down at the 27-yard line. So it's second and ten. Rudd makes the play at the 22-yard line. So we've reached the end of the third quarter with the Pittsburgh Steelers ahead of the Cleveland Browns. 14-6. And we'll start the fourth quarter. They need five. to the left. Ward was the intended target. Stewart led him a bit too far. It almost looked like he might have been trying to throw it to someone else. Peterson will come in looking to try the field goal. And it's up. The attempt is good. So John Drop is up a little short than they might have liked, but they still managed to come away with a field goal. Yeah, I know they might have liked to have gotten in there for a touchdown. But three points is three points. And sometimes that's all you need. He kicks it off. North cut. He's heading upfield. The 40. Across midfield. The 40. He did a nice job on that return, picking up good yardage and really helping to set up the offense. You know, those guys come flying down the field so fast that sometimes they run right by the guy with the ball. It's first and ten. Out of the shotgun. Dropping back. Gets the pass off. Knocked down. He's lucky that one wasn't picked off. That guy has a great arm. Sometimes he takes some chances and he throws into coverage. It's second down and ten to go. Morgan could make the catch. He overthrows his intended receiver. And he has to be careful. Not only is that pass off target, but it's also a good way to get your receiver down. That couch sets up. They'll go with a pass. Steps up into the pocket. Passing to his right. And he's brought down at the 15-yard line. Northcutt makes the catch. His first of the day. Down inside the 15. Dropping back. He's looking. Couch. Rolls right. Tosses it right. The catch was made out of bounds. And the only call there that can really save you is a situation if the official determines that you would have come down in bounds, but a defender pushes you out while you're up in the air. And that clearly didn't happen there. They're inside the 15. Man in motion. Searching for a seat. Puts on the jersey. Farrier with the tackle at the 12. And he picks up about four. Seven yards to go. Couch under center. Looking downfield. Passes it out to the left. And a great throw for the touchdown. Yeah, he threw that where only the receiver could get it. The Browns are closing the gap. This team's starting to get on a roll. Let's see if they have enough time to get it done.
The conversion is good. He's good. Will the owner of a yellow sports car, license number G81. Dawson is back and ready to put this one in the air. He gets the kick away. Number 22 will bring this one upfield. Just about ready for the first play of this drive. They were able to pick up a field goal on their last drive. Right. First and ten. Set. Stewart with a man in motion. Hut, hut. Hut, hut. Hut. Dropping back. Passing to his right. And they're able to connect on that one. He really went up to get it. Well, a lot of these guys play basketball. They still play basketball. And you can really see why when you see him jump that high. Right. First and ten. Ball on their own 48. Yard line. Set. Stewart gets set. Hut. 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 Single, single. Hut. 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 He gets the toss. Missed the tackle. He can't wrap him up. Davis records the tackle at the 38 yard line. So a gain of about one. And they need about nine. The defense is stacking the line of scrimmage. Bettis trying to carry it. Warren makes the play at the 38. He might have gotten a yard or two. That guy got knocked around by that defense. He needs a little protection from his lineman. six-yard line. This is what football is. Nose to nose. Whoever's the toughest win. Two minutes to the final gun. Right. Peterson leads the field goal team into the game for the attempt. He gets off the long field goal try. The quarterback's going to be the guy making this thing happen. He should realize that there's still a lot of time left, knowing it's only a field goal they need. As long as he can move them down the field quickly and avoid third and long, they'll have a chance to at least tie this thing. Quick drop, stepping up. Couch, passes to his right. He got his hands on it, but the pass was incomplete. No receiver's perfect, so you'll even see the best ones drop a few. But the key word is a few. One play down, three to go for this defense to stop this drive and get the win. Out of the shotgun. They'll go with a pass. Looking downfield. Gets rid of it. Scott records the stop at the 47. First and 10. Ball on the 47-yard line. They'll go with a pass. Steps up. Throw it. 
hits the target with the pass. Now the receiver found a hole in the secondary, and the quarterback found him with the pass. The defense could never let up out there. This guy could make some incredible catches. Congratulations to the fans sitting in Central Three. First and ten. You just won a free pizza. Nickelback in this time. Dropping back, looking for an option. Tosses it right. And he makes no, he can't hold it in. The defender was all over him on that play, forcing the incompletion. He really had to rush that throw. That was a situation where the defensive line made the job easy for the defensive backs. Second and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. Couch with four options at receiver. He's looking to pass. Looking downfield. Throwing left. Townsend didn't give him a chance on that one. Yeah, just stick your hand in there and whap it down. They'd like to get a little closer for their kicker. They'd also like to get a first down and eat up some more clock. One thing they can't do in this play is lose yardage. Set. Cut. He's looking to pass. Surveying the field. Couch looking for something on the right. North Coast was the intended target. Gilded just knocked it down. Nothing will frustrate a receiver more than knocking away his pass. The field goal unit coming in to try to pick up the three points. Dawson looking to make a good kick here. Here's the long attempt. Quarterback is dropped. Back to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. And a kneel down here on second down is the most likely scenario. Penalty marker down. Delay of the game on the offense. That's a five-yard penalty. The Steelers certainly are helping themselves with penalties like that. This offense cannot be effective if they make mistakes like that. A kneel down here should be the last play of the game. Right. Third and long. Ball on their own 33. Over there, over there. Over there, over there. Set. Over there, over there. Cut. 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 I think they'll punt here with not much time left in the game. A good high punt is the best bet, so they can't get a good return on it. Davis is back to receive this kick. That's all she wrote. The final score is Pittsburgh, 17. Cleveland, 14. On behalf of EA Sports, John Madden and Melissa Stark, this is Al Michaels saying goodbye and inviting you to join us in our next presentation of Madden NFL 2003.